Welcome back, everybody, to the TLDR of the space news you've been wanting to hear. Today, we are talking about SpaceX's Starship SN15 rollout, the testing that it's going to be going through very soon, the dates that we have right now for that. We have other SpaceX-related news. We're also going to be talking about Blue Origin's recent announcement, NASA Ingenuity's upcoming flight, the date for that, everything like that. If you want to know everything, be sure to stick the entire episode. Drop a like on the video to stay on the space side of the YouTube algorithm. And let's get into why you clicked on the video. So first, Mary Bocatigo had tweeted this photo of an upcoming Starship, a section of the Starship with the TPS tiles on it. The TPS tiles, if you don't know, are the thermal protection system, shield, whatever you would like to use the S4. That is to allow Starships to go into orbit without getting completely annihilated from the heat. Now that we see these tiles on the stars, this is the first one that we're seeing it. And Elon Musk has said in the past that one of these starships, the upcoming ones, as we're on the SN15 now and going through the SN20, one of them, he wants to get them into orbit. SpaceX, they want to start putting these starships into orbit and testing that. As important as it is to get these to successfully land, they have to make sure that they, the mechanics of them, they can physically go into orbit without burning up or getting destroyed. And so this right now is a good indicator that SpaceX, the Starships are very close to doing so. Now, while this may not officially go into orbit, this piece right here, it at least it shows SpaceX, the crew, they are testing how to implement this on a Starship, how to properly put these onto the Starship. So that's just some exciting news I want to talk to you guys about regarding that. Now, more info from the Starship SN15. Mary, she had tweeted this photo on April 8th. The SN15, the Starship, it has successfully rolled out to its launch pad. We thought it was going to be April 9th because that's when SpaceX, they had the road closures in the area and they pulled a fast one on us. They did on April 8th. And I mean, I'm happy with that to see, you know, Starship actually go to its launch pad ahead of schedule, really. Starship, it's now successfully there. And while it was there, coming from Starship updates, SpaceX, they conducted a ambient pressure test of the Starship SN15. So now we see that it has to do the cryo and the static fire test before we can see a launch. And when are those going to be? So if we go on the road closure areas down there, Boca Chica area today, April 12th, there is a closure from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. And tomorrow, April 13th, same time. I believe that today we will see a cryo test of the Starship, the SN15. And you guys let me know in the comments, do you think they're going to do it today? Do you think this is going to go smooth or not? And then tomorrow, according to the closures, we may see a static fire. More good news from SpaceX, the Falcon 9's first day's booster successfully landed on the drone ship. Last episode, April 7th, we were talking, as I was making the episode, literally the Falcon 9 had launched during it. And I had reported you guys that it successfully launched, but I couldn't report if it, the booster successfully landed. It was still in orbit. Today, I'm confirming with you guys, SpaceX, they successfully landed the booster. Another successful mission for the Starlinks, continuing to expand the Starlink infrastructure and network to more and more people. Really excited to see that. Blue Origin, a company we never really hear about because they really don't do much. Apparently, they, yesterday they announced that their new Shepard, their NS-15, not to be confused with the SN-15, is launching this Wednesday, April 14th. It's going to be an unmanned crew. It's going to be just a test of the launch and landing. The NS-16, however, the next new separate in line, according to Blue Origin, is going to have a manned crew. It will be the first manned crew that Blue Origin does in the new separate. So if this goes successfully, it's very likely within the next month or so, Blue Origin does actually launch human beings on their new separate. So it, as mundane as the company has been, this is exciting stuff from them. I'm really hopeful that things go well for them. And we can see from the FAA's website, they still do have the TFRs, the closures in the area. So on that side, things are looking really well for them. NASA, the Ingenuity, the helicopter, was going to launch this Sunday. They had to postpone it. Now, Wednesday, April 14th, Ingenuity is going to make its first attempt at a controlled flight on Mars. Exciting stuff, and it will be live streamed from NASA. So on April 14th, we have Blue Origin and we have NASA. What are you guys going to watch if you had to pick one? Are you going to watch the new separate launch? Or are you going to watch Ingenuity take flight? I know I'm going to be on the Ingenuity side. You guys let me know in the comments which ones you're going to be watching, if you're watching any at all. But I'm excited to see the Ingenuity finally take launch. And this photo does come from the Perseverance camera. I mean, just look at the quality of this image. A little dust on that thing, huh? This thing's already getting, already getting scuffed up. What a little warrior it is out there. 
that's all I have for you guys in this episode. If you enjoyed the content, if you want more, be sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and let me know in the comments what do you want to see, what do you want to talk about. I'm always open for discussion. Anyways, you guys have a good one.